What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark David, and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I'm going to post a review on a dividend stock that I mentioned when I went live yesterday. I really like this one. They just resumed their dividend. I'm going to answer your question on Ford stock, and I have one dividend stock that's pretty hot right now. It's less than $20. It's a high-yield dividend stock, and I'm also going to compare a C stock to that or Citigroup. To that one so it is a bank stock that's hot right now and this one i actually own and i'm long in so if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe and hit that not notification bell so don't miss future videos smash that like button and let's check these stocks out right now the first dividend stock i want to go over is citigroup you guys mentioned this bank stock for me to do a review on it's not doing too hot against the s p it's sitting at 5270 has a dividend yield of 3.87 percent a pe ratio of 6.21 Volume of 25.94 million. The market cap is 102.34 billion US dollars. Year range is 45.40 to 80.29. Its day range is 52.02 to 53.12. And its previous close was 52.68. So revenue wise, are doing fantastic. And this other bank stock that I'm going to compare it to, they also are doing very well revenue wise. But let's jump to the dividend history of Citigroup. This is the deal breaker with these guys. And this is why it's kind of an iffy. Uh, dividend growth stock. Let's check this out. Let's we'll start in 2015. They were five cents. Then 2016, they were 16 cents. Then 2017, they were 32 cents. 2018, they cracked 45 cents. 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022, they're 51 cents. So right here, their payout ratio is 22%. The number of dividend increases in the past five years is three. Annualized dividend growth in five years is 16.62%. Annual dividend, if you bought one share, you made $2.04 with a 3.87% dividend yield. The one thing that's a little bit of a turnoff with these guys is if you look at 2018, they were 45 cents. 2019, they cracked 51 cents. And they haven't hiked their dividend since. So it's still a pretty good dividend growth stock. I just like to see those dividend hikes on these guys it's 5270 it's a little exp on the expensive side to me but still a really good bank stock so once it starts hiking its dividend i'll consider that in my dividend portfolio i just don't like the recent dividend hikes they have these guys as a buy i'll show you a better bank stock that i own and why i like it and it's less than 20 dollars right now let's check that out the stock i like better is key corp it's sitting at 1952 it has a dividend yield of four percent P.E. ratio 7.90, volume 10.56 million, market cap 18.2 billion U.S. dollars. Its year range was 1790 to 2717. Day range was 1895 to 1971, and its previous close was 1905. So I have done previous videos uh, with these guys. And again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description, but I like their dividend trends. Their revenue is doing fantastic, and I like their dividend hike uh, history compared to Citigroup, which I'll show you. Well, let's just start in 2014. It was seven cents. 2015, eight cents. 2016, nine cents. 2017, ten cents. Then eleven cents. 2018, twelve cents. Then they hit seventeen cents, and then 2019 they hit nineteen cents. They're still at nineteen cents. Then they cracked twenty cents right here from um, 2020, 19 to twenty cents. And they're sitting at 20 cents right now in 2022. So their annualized dividend growth in five years is 15.72%. You bought one share, you make 78 cents. The dividend yield is 4.09%. And the payout ratio is 32%. So I like these guys better. I Again, I'm not giving financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. I just like these guys as a better stock. I like their dividend hike history a little bit better than Citigroup, and they're a little bit cheaper. Let's jump to Ford stock. I'll do a review on these guys real quick. The Ford right now is sitting at 1271 with a dividend yield of 3.15%, a PE ratio of 4.47, volume of 64.26 million. The market cap is 51.09 billion US dollars. Year range is 1207 to 2587. Its day range is 1232 to 1281. Previous close is 1242. So the one thing about these guys is, again, they are a vehicle company. They uh, make vehicles. They're trying to go into 
the uh, electric car industry, electric truck industry. So they are adapting, but there's a few things that kind of irk me that and why I don't like these guys as a dividend stock, which I'll go over. Let's go over their revenue real quick. So this is in millions of US dollars. 2015 it was 149, 2016 it was 151, 2017 it's 156, 2018 it's 160, then 2019 a little bit of a drop. 2020 the pandemic hit at 127, then 2021 they had a pretty strong rebound with 136. So they are going up a little bit. There's a few things that kind of have me uh, turned off by these guys and I'll go over their dividend history. So 2012, they were 5 cents. Then 2013, they were 10 cents. 2014, they were 13 cents. 2015, they cracked 15 cents. They just haven't jumped past 15 cents since 2015. Now, you can blame the pandemic right here. They were at 10 cents. But where is the dividend growth? The payout ratio is 31%. The number of dividend increases in the last five years is one because of you know, the recent news and the, uh, they just kind of resume their dividend. Annualized dividend growth in five years is negative 8.47%. Annual dividend, if you bought one share, you get 40 cents and the yield is 3.22%. So I'm kind of turned off. I just don't like the way their dividend hikes are. They haven't hiked their dividend in a long time. And they're just stagnant right there. So that's why I'm turned off by these guys. If I start seeing dividend hikes, I will have interest in these guys. But right now, it's not, not where I want to, you know, it's, it's not fitting my philosophy of dividend growth stocks or the dividend uh, investing strategy that I have. So I want to show you this one stock that I think is really interesting. They just resumed their dividends. So let's check this one out. And that stock would be Arc Restaurants Corp. It's sitting at 1667, a dividend yield of 3.00%, PE ratio 4.72, the volume 5.79K, Market cap, 59.20 million U.S. dollars. Year range, 1439 to 2115. Day range, 1661 to 1690. And its previous close was 1684. So let's go over these guys. So here's their restaurants. They have some places in New York City, the Porch at Bryant Park, Robert, Bryant Park Grill, Las Vegas, America, Burger Bar Grill, uh, Gallagher Steakhouse, Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Yellows, Florida, on the Beach, Rustic Inn, uh, Shuckers, Blue Moonfish Company, Alabama, Oyster House, The Lounge, Victory Sports Bar, DC, Sequoia, and Atlantic City, Broadway Burger. So these are um, their restaurants that they kind of own. So now let's check out their revenue and their dividend history. So here's the revenue starting in 2015, millions US dollars, 145, 2016, 150, 2017, 153, 2018, 159, 2019, 162, 2020, 106, and then 2021, 131. So they're starting to make a comeback with their revenue. Now I'm going to go over their dividend history, which is very interesting. So 2009, their dividend distribution was $1. 2010, they were 25 cents. 25. Now you're not seeing a, a really big dividend growth, but they crack 13 cents and they're way down right now. So this is a business that pretty much was hit hard. And I know they're the industry rank. They're in the bottom 22 and their dividend growth in the past five years is zero. But these guys just started resuming their dividends. So I just wanted to point these guys out. Are they a buy? I'm going to say no, but the symbol is ARKR. So just keep an eye on these guys as a restaurant stock with, I mean, their dividend 25 cents, there's not a lot of growth, but they're cheap right now. So I'm just letting you guys know about this one. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one. And I'll try to post a video on Friday. So you guys take care.